Hey hello guys it's how to tag simplified and in this video I will be showing you how to fix the problem when your bluetooth isn't appearing right here so you can't find your bluetooth in your windows settings or in your normal settings so you just can't seem to find it or can't turn it on and it just disappeared in your device manager so let's get straight into it so for the first step we're going to check the services in the search bar so simply go down to the search bar and type in services right here it will open up the services application now for the services we're going to check on the bluetooth services so right here is the bluetooth audio getaway service and the bluetooth support service now the bluetooth support service is the main one we're focusing on make sure that it is turned on so simply right click it and here press a start now if it isn't uh, running for you simply open it up and press a start now from there we go down to properties and make sure that this is turned on to automatic so simply change this from manual to automatic press apply and press ok now from here there are a load of other bluetooth services so simply check if they're all running so check if the bluetooth audio getaway is running support service is running and the user service is running now you can also change these two to automatic just to make sure now check if your bluetooth appears and let's get to step two now for the next step we're going to the device manager so open up the search bar and type in device manager right here it will open up the control panel and as you can see right here all the options now for me the bluetooth mode is right here but sometimes it doesn't appear so if it doesn't appear simply select your pc the desktop and from there press action make sure that it is in this sequence from here we're going to scan for hardware changes and it will check if the bluetooth is still missing now make sure to check once more if the bluetooth is there and if it's not we're going to do the following check the desktop once more go to action and then add legacy hardware now this will open up a little wizard follow my steps press next search for and install hardware automatically press next and from there press next now if your bluetooth is right here in this little window select it if it's not make sure to go to the network adapters right here press next so here are a load of drivers to choose from now here's possibility to find a bluetooth network check the intel drivers if there is a bluetooth driver select it and press next the same for the intel cooperation if there is a bluetooth one please select it and then from there install it now for the following option we're going to use a bluetooth shortcut so open up search type in file explorer right here and from there we go into this PC. Now from there you open up your local disk drive and you head to Windows. Now from your Windows folder you search for the System32 folder right here. We open it up and here we type F squirt. Now here is the file we're looking for. It's the application Bluetooth file. So simply select it, right click it, show more options. And from here, send to desktop, right here. It will create a shortcut for your Bluetooth. Now, if your Bluetooth isn't in your system and it's a software problem, it's probably not appearing for you so that it's clear that it's not on your system. If it is, you can use this to send and receive files. So send and receive files using Bluetooth. For the next step, we're going to use the Windows Troubleshooter. So simply head down to the search bar and type in settings. Now, once you open up the settings, all the settings from your Windows will appear. Now simply type in the settings, troubleshoot settings right here. Now you open up the troubleshoot settings and you go to the other troubleshooters. Now once you're in the other troubleshooters, here you have a tab which is the Bluetooth troubleshooter. Now you simply run the troubleshooter and it will start detecting problems with your Bluetooth. Now if there are any problems, Windows will automatically detect them and fix them for you. So let's do its job. Now as you can see there was a problem found with my Bluetooth. And here you can see that it is fixed. Now this is very easy, just use the troubleshooter and it will properly fix your Bluetooth if it isn't appearing on your desktop now let's head to the next step 
Now for the last step, we're going to check the Bluetooth drivers. So simply head down to search, from here type in device manager, right here below settings. Now it will open up the device manager and here open up the Bluetooth tab, right here. Now here are a load of options to choose from. Now simply look for the Bluetooth device, right here. Right click it and update the driver. Now search automatically for drivers and it will start to look if there are any drivers that are currently available for your system. If this still didn't work, right click it and go to update driver, but now browse my computer for driver. Now here you have a list of available drivers on your computer. Now as you can see right here, there is one available. So this is probably an older version of your Bluetooth, so simply click next and install that because if your Bluetooth worked previously, it will work now probably. So from here, we are going to look for new drivers on the browser. So simply open up your Google Chrome or preferred browser. From here, type in Intel Bluetooth driver right here. And as you can see, here is the official Intel website. You open it up and here you scroll down and check for your system. Now I'm running Windows 11. If you were on Windows 10 or Windows 11, select this one. Here are all the drivers for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Simply press it. And from here, it will start to download. If you can see here, if you have a 32-bit system and running Windows 10, you simply select this one. If you have Windows 11 and a 64-bit system, you download this one. For me, it's this one. Here I accept the terms and it will start to install the drivers. Now once it's done installing, simply open up the exe file. Here press yes. And here you can see that there's a version higher available that I just downloaded it. So simply press yes, press next, and it will start to install your Windows Bluetooth driver. So here press next, accept the terms, press next, use the typical option and start to install it. And once you're done installing, simply press the finish button right here. And that's it. If you still can't find your Bluetooth drivers or your Bluetooth system settings, simply leave a comment down below and I will try to help you. If this video has helped you in any kind of way, please leave a like and subscribe for more easy how to tech videos. Thanks for watching.